Good afternoon, everyone. I'm the Impressionist. I just got my new audio interface, and you are watching Weekly Impressions. Now, this is a series that I made up because I figured I could do it pretty regularly, um, and it's going to be easy to edit. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. So, a lot of people online use this very particular um, voice um, in their videos, like the text-to-speech voice. Um, you know, I think it's called it's either called like Simon or it's called like Daniel or something like that. I think it's called Daniel. Hello. My name is Daniel and you're about to watch some a-hole on the internet do a bad impression of me. Let's get started. I've gotten a lot of practice doing that voice and I was annoying my friend Logan with it <laughs> last night. So I'm going to read a bunch of random sentences on this, uh, the Top 10's website. I'm just gonna read them as Daniel or Simon or whatever his name is. So let's get right into the video. I'm so blue I'm greener than purple. I stepped on a cornflake. Now I'm a serial killer. On a scale from 1 to 10. What is your favorite color of the alphabet? I'd have to say three. Six, no, wait, no, six. That's my favorite color of the alphabet, by far. Banana era. Is that like if there was a banana map in a Valve game and you tried to play with your friends and not everyone had the same you know, textures and then all the bananas are just errors? I think I've seen that somewhere before, possibly. Every day, a grape licks a friendly cow. I mean, doesn't seem too unlikely. I think that that's definitely something that could that could possibly happen. The sparkly lamp ate a pillow, then punched Larry. Why would you do that? Poor Larry, man. If your canoe is stuck in a tree with the headlights on, how many pancakes does it take to get to the moon? Um, honestly, you might have to ask Mr. Owl. Let's find out. One, two, three. What do you think about the magical yellow unicorn who dances on the rainbow with a spoonful of blue cheese dressing? I think that... That, that unicorn's gone places. My world is where everybody is a pony and we all eat rainbows and poop butterflies. No, actually, it's, it's piss rainbows and poop butterflies. Um, and you eat... Souls of the innocent. My cat ate a potato. White and black looks better than black and white. Up, uh, that's racist. Look, a distraction. Thank you for notifying me that a distraction is coming. I'm very thankful that you, that you warned me. That there was a distraction. Thank you so much. There's a purple mushroom in my backyard screaming tacos. If there's a purple mushroom in your backyard and it's screaming tacos, chances are you've already eaten some of his family. When life gives you lemons, chuck them at people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, that's- wait, hold on, this is some great advice. When life gives you lemons, chuck them at people you hate. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. A zebra licked a DVD. Oh no, it, it would be zebra. That's right, cuz- Yeah, cuz- cuz UK, they pronounce it zebra. A zebra licked a DVD. That's probably- yeah, that's probably it. Cheese grater shaved my butt skin off. Butt skin off? That sounds like a- a Russian last name. Oh no, you're one of them. I don't know who them- is obviously you have some sort of animosity with them or else you would not be thinking it was oh no you would be thinking it was oh yeah can i please ask everyone to stop saying oh no in this courtroom because the damn kool-aid guys is gonna keep showing up metallica ate a hairy gorilla with purple nipples then swapped a red tear with a fire breathing goat last tuesday at breakfast but like why though <laughs> metallica they had to go into the wild they had to hunt down a gorilla that had specifically had purple nipples and then they had to you know feast on it together so I don't I, you know getting that image is really strange my nose is a communist a hot dog on a bridge is, is the hot dog having like existential thoughts is the hot dog depressed because it seems like the hot dog is debating whether or not to jump off that bridge and if that is the case, then we need to get that hot dog some help. Don't touch my crayons. They can smell glue. Do not touch my glue. It can smell colors. Screw world peace. I want a pony. It's actually not that selfish of a cause. A, a pony has a set, like, lifespan, right? Uh, unless, of course, there's some sort of, like, you know, unforeseen accident. World peace can only last for so long. Pony, at least, as long as you take care of it, as long as you feed it, as long as you, you know, do well with it, it's going to treat you right. My favorite color in the alphabet dictionary is a triangular Obi-Wan Kenobi who likes the color square on a scale of Nutella to 16 and 1 4, plus two Yodas. <laughs> that's... that's great. I'm pretty sure, and, and I may be wrong, so just correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that's a color. 
Thank you for noticing this list. Your noticing has been noticed. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. What is it? Thank you for noticing my pain. Your noticing has been noticed. Three homophobic gay guys walked in church and yelled, rub my tummy. That sounds... That sounds... <laughs> That sounds really, really... It sounds like that would happen, you know? That sounds really super realistic. Buy some soap. It's clean. The cat on the TV said. You know what? If, you ever, if you're ever worried about whether or not you want to buy a product, just remember that if the cat on TV says that it's clean, like, bar none, like, there's no, there's no way it could possibly be untrue. So you need to buy that product. You need to buy five of that product. That cat is all-knowing and you need to just trust whatever that cat says i mean tree what can i say man <laughs> tree a demonic starbucks napkin stole my goldfish crackers well you need to file a uh, a complaint about that if starbucks is creating demon napkins then <laughs> that that sounds like a lawsuit to me hi that duck over there that's a great way to greet ducks i um, mean especially if they're all in like a group of ducks like if they're all in you know then you should say that duck over there and they're instantly just gonna know exactly which one you mean because they're mind reading so that's 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 great and then you get the duck's attention and then the duck becomes your friend for life gurgle bumpers eating eyes with shadow freud i don't know who those two people are but if they're so hungry they need to eat eyes um i'm pretty sure there's a better source of, of stuff out there unless you're just really hungry for eyes in that case you do you man you do you. Bobby Brown yawned at Hitler's face during a meeting. That's why he was yelling in his bunker. If you mute the footage of Bobby Brown yawning into Hitler's face, then it's just gonna look like he's screaming at Hitler. There you go. Kill two birds with one stone. A cherry is also a red bullfrog. Man, the amount of cherries I've eaten in my lifetime, and the entire time I had no clue that they were actually red bullfrogs. That's insane. That's freaking weird. Don't tell anybody, but I'm dead. A firework fell in love with my giant lava lamp, then barfed on my deluxe mop. I mean, your giant lava lamp is precious, okay? And and you got this firework coming in and, you know, making making eyes at your giant lava lamp, and then it goes in, and then it just pukes on your on your deluxe mop? I mean, that's a special mop. Like, how dare the firework do that? It's probably, the firework's probably drunk. You don't want a drunk firework hanging out with your giant lava lamp. That's just that's just bad. That's just a bad idea. Friendly insects eat pink pineapples while looking at your mom. Well, if they're friendly, then I would say keep them around. And if not, then kill them. Knock knock. Who's there? A potato eating a hash brown. That's cannibalism at its finest and saltiest. Wanna help me steal a giraffe? I would love to help you perform such an amazing legendary task. My apple looks like a blue unicorn with 234,534 little magical donuts that got eaten by a highly trained military llama. It looks like a llama at that point, <laughs> with blood on its mouth. A flaming marshmallow dumpster is filled with fluffy llama dung. Someone needs to clean that shit out, that, that doesn't sound sanitary. Yo, Darth Vader. What up, my dude? No sheep is quite as crooked as a bed. I've, I've met some pretty crooked sheeps out there, but I've also met some pretty crooked beds. I said don't enter the rabbit hole. Now you have the salad. The quotation marks around the salad, like is that a disease or something? It sounds like a really harmful disease. You have you have the salad. Like that sounds like something you get in your, like, your, your genitals. My lettuce has got ranch dressing all over it. <laughs> Shit. Well, looks like that's the end of the list. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to Daniel over here. Um, just say a bunch of random crap. Leave a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to hear Daniel say. Or, you know, what other impressions you'd like to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. But until then, toodles!